very good evening and welcome to KTN Business. My name is Abi Agina. Now we start with a story that will leave quite a number of billionaires trying to figure out how they made it. Well, what would you do with the 9 billion shillings? This is the question that you need to find out. Invest in land, buy a company. Well, there are t 32 Kenyans today whom this question is not just a fantasy. It is a fact of life. They are ultra-high net worth individuals living in our midst. And if the latest wealth report by the Knight Frank is anything to go by, the number could double by 2024. Katie's Adelaide Changole has more. According to the fifth installment of the Wealth Report, Kenya is home to 115 ultra-rich individuals with a net worth of more than $30 million or 2.76 billion shillings. And 32 people from this list have crossed their $100 million mark and are worth at least 9 billion shillings. There is more wealth around the world being created in more different locations and that is driving the demand for luxury property. With the expected economic boom brought about by infrastructure developments and the rising foreign inflows into the country, the number of ultra-rich Kenyans is expected to shoot up by 82% to 209 over the next 10 years. This is much faster than the growth in South Africa and Uganda, but slower than Tanzania's 110% jump to 156 ultra-rich individuals by 2024. As the number of wealthy Kenyans and Africans increase, it raises the stakes in the local property market, which is the world's primary investment of choice for the wealthy. So I can't tell you exactly what will happen in terms of capital gains, in terms of VAT, in terms of exemptions and so on and so forth. But until we get clarity on those issues, then we're going to see people reluctant to, to transact. But it is not just the rich who will benefit from the upswing in the economy. According to the report, Africa will triple the number of people in the middle class by 2030, a fact that is already pulling luxury goods makers to customize their products for the distinctly different African markets. So if Bentley and Rolls Royce introducing luxury SUVs to cope with the roads in places where there's perhaps a few more potholes um, than some of the other markets. So what is the biggest concern for these ultra-wealthy individuals? Taxes. Governments are focusing much more on where wealth is held and how they're going to tax it. For Kenyan investors, the worry is the recent reintroduction of the capital gains tax on the sale of properties and shares in the market. The, the cost of transaction has an implication on the value of the asset itself. So if you don't know what the, con the cost of the transaction is, then you, you don't know what implication that has on the value. So people are holding off until there is more clarity. Another huge concern for the ultra-wealthy involves succession plans. Specifically, how to ensure their descendants do not waste their riches on frivolities and how to ensure their legacies live on. The second generation of wealthy squander about 30% of the wealth that their parents have made. The third generation pretty much below it all. Um, so it's really, it's a real concern for high net worth individuals how they're going to pass on their wealth successfully. Adelaide Changole, KTN Business.